Hey guys, Pirate Mike here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I like to uh, show all sorts of different treasures that you can find on beaches or really anywhere. But uh, welcome to Pirate Mike's Treasure and I, I hope you enjoy this channel. Thanks for tuning in. Not sure why I do it, but every time I find a half dollar at the beach, I put it in my eye. All right, another crazy early morning. Coming down here to meet Jim. I think uh, Brad's here. And I think Dave as well. These guys got down here probably about half an hour before I did. So uh, we'll go see. I see a figure out there. That's all I can see is a, is a dark figure. But man, what a beautiful morning. I think I see Jim right there. And, uh, not sure who the other guys are. Oh, I think I see Brad down there. Good morning, fine sir. <laughs> How is it? My pirate, this pirate got his booty out of bed. Unfortunately, he couldn't get out of the house, but he got out of bed. How are you? Yeah, I was good. Good Thanks. to see you, sir. Good boom, to see you. boom, boom. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, no, you. I'm fine. I uh, found uh, bottle caps, a quarter, and a ring. Ooh. Ooh. Shiny. Oh, that would have been a little hard stopper. It rings up a midtone. You know what it? You know, I'm not sure. It might be legit. I don't know. It, it's got a little weight to it. Yeah. Which is. And it's solid. It doesn't sound like iron at all. I mean, maybe it did in the whole. I don't remember. Well, and the other thing is, is that's a really small stone. Sometimes when it's a small stone like that, it is. You know what I mean? Like it's a real. I don't know. That might be legit. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. Bling, bling, I know the bling. quarter's legit. How about that? That's 25 cents. <laughs> That'll go in your laundry machine. <laughs> yeah, oh. it doesn't need to be that clean. God, beautiful morning though, right? So the high tide at 9, you know, it's a 7-foot, plus 7-foot tide. Really washed up over. I have found most of my targets have been, you know, pretty much high side to just about the wet out in the wet everything's super deep and you have to really dig for it all right i have a low tone it's it's like an eight that could change very quiet Let's see if i can uh set up my headphones where you guys can actually hear this all right let's see what we got All right, should be in the scoop. Awfully small, whatever it is. Let's see if I can get a light on it. You guys see anything? Oh, I think I see just a tiny little piece of metal let's see what brad's doing over here he found a it might be a decent ring but it might be junk oh okay well it's more than me i've only got like two quarters and a dime i think he's at a quarter a bottle cap and a ring so yeah. well he's got a ring i got two quarters of diamonds I saw you kind of, we were both talking about how you're staying in this little area right here. Oh, so. yeah, well, I just found a quarter there. If, all right, I think this is iron. Again, there's not that many targets, so I'm digging everything. Yeah, now it's actually turning into a 30, now it's an 18. Yeah, it still has a lot of iron grunt to it. Okay, should be in a scoop. It's in the 30s. Oh, 
I think it actually might be a little silver toe ring. Huh. Not what I would have expected, but it is. It's actually a small silver toe ring. All right. I'm on the board. Well, I'm prepared for breakfast. Yum, yum. This doesn't get a lot prettier than the California coast, though. Had a little bit of rain in the middle of the night. And uh, just so pretty. All right, I have a high tone. Thing is really loud. It says it's not it's not deep at all. Mid 70s. In the scoop. 79.80. I'm gonna say a dime. I hear it in the scoop. And it is a very spendable dime. Something I really don't like to see is these little balloons. And, uh, you know, a lot of times people come down to the beach with water balloons and they don't pick up the scraps. And unfortunately, the birds ingest these and um, it'll actually kill them. So, if you guys, bring water balloons down to the beach. See if we can pick them up and throw them away. Actually, really anywhere, you know, even in parks. They're uh, extremely dangerous to the wildlife. Well, unfortunately, this is what happens when uh, birds ingest plastics and balloons. So, you got to kind of know what you're doing when you're out there uh, littering. The environment does not do well with it. I was just talking to my friend Jim. He said he's kind of got the 900 uh, worked out. I am still having all sorts of problems figuring out what targets are. So this thing sounds awful. I mean, almost inaudible. And I've gotten enough bobby pins this morning to think that that's what this is. Oh, shut the hell up. Come on, be real, be real, be real. Oh, I don't think it's gonna be real. Uh, well, I'm thinking it's junk. It gave me a hard stop. Like a button piece? I think it was an earring. I think the post broke. Interesting piece. No marking, so I really don't think it's real. It is real. It's no, real. Probably. It's there. It's, it's, it's it's, it is in my hand. It's yeah. not imaginary. <laughs> yeah, it came, you and your imaginary finds again. It came up real low. What's it come up on yours? Throw it down. Like it's uh, aluminum coated or something. You going aluminum? Okay, I'm pretty <laughs> comfortable with uh, this being an actual high tone. And... Uh, says it's really not very deep at all so hoping you guys can hear that it's acting like a quarter so let's hope for a quarter in the scoop I hear it clacking around Woo! it's a shiny quarter all right I need a nickel and a penny to make the cycle I think Jim needs a dime to get the cycle. I got a high tone. I think it's actually, yeah, it's actually sounding pretty good, but it does have a lot of iron grunt. So let's see. Uh, this thing materializes. Oh, now it's a. Uh, see if you guys can hear that. 
88.89. I'm thinking, thinking we might have our second quarter. Oh, you can hear it clacking around. That's another fully spendable quarter. Well, this thing sounded unbelievably hit. Just horrible in the hole. Now it's uh, acting like a dime. And that is because it is a dime. Sprinkling going on. I mean, you can see it's just kind of right there. All right, I got another uh, kind of high tone in the 60s. Just started sprinkling. Oh, look, we got a tent stake. Brand new, shiny tent stake. Okay, got a, another high tone in the 90s. Now it's in the 60s. Okay, we've got a quarter and a penny. So I think we have a coin spill here. That means I just need a nickel. Okay, this one is in the mid 20s. Come on, be a nickel. That'd be great. And just a. Oh, well, we got uh, another high tone. So there's definitely a lot of coins here. Well, I say definitely. I think there's a lot of coins here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the cycle has been completed. Yippee. There you go. We have the cycle. Let's see what Brad got. What did Brad get? I think it's playing, but... Hey, buddy. How cute are you? Hey. Hey. Oh, you are adorable. All right. I have a kind of high tone in the 60s. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It's really loud, right on the surface. It is starting to rain a little bit right now. Okay, it's in the scoop. I think it's going to be a shiny, spendable zinc penny. Okay, it is not shiny, but it might be spendable, and it is a zinc penny. All right, I have another high tone. Ninety two to ninety seven. In the scoop. I think it's going to be a dime. And I see a shiny, and I mean shiny dime. Oh, 
we've got another quarter. We have a coin spill. I thought I had been filming, but I may have turned myself off, so. Another shiny quarter. Alright, I think there's more in the hole, though. Mid 60s. Probably a zinc penny. Okay. 61 to 63. And a spendable zinc penny. Whoop. Stop that too. I'm dropping all sorts of coins this morning. See if we got anything else. Alright, I think that was it. Alright, we've That's decided. Brand spanking new. Oh, look what Jim found. Oh, oh, oh my gift he's to such you. a giver. <laughs> So here we are uh, hiding under the uh, under the lifeguard tower because it's pouring out there. It was beautiful about 20 minutes ago, and then we just had a little uh, rain burst come through, and it's it's legitimate. So we've got our new little honeycomb hideout. I think I have a high tone. It's small, or at least it sounds small. And that is because it's a dime. All right, I think I have a... May just be iron, but it sounds like there's a little bit of a mid-tone with it, so we're going to dig it. Yep, there it is. Another bottle cap. Smirnoff. All right, what'd you find? I think I found a Monopoly game piece. I actually have found a couple of Monopoly. That is absolutely the top hat for Monopoly. You for think? sure. Or it's a button. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's definitely a top hat for my Monopoly. You can see how it's kind of curved. Yeah, I got this thing on. Yeah, that is I've been, cool. I've been horrible today with camera work. <laughs> I, I found the race car and I found the cannon. Oh, no way. That's yeah. good. So, there's yeah. still still a few others. I'm not even sure they still make them out of metal. Oh, oh you just dropped some house to home. Oh, it was garbage I found in the ocean. Thank you. So, Jim's going to be giving away a bike. Is that right? On the when? 29th of this month? Yeah, May 29th, Memorial Day. So if you go to Fun with Jim, subscribe, and then you can, is that how? Comment on any video in the playlist, and then if you share it, it also counts. So each time you comment, it literally put a name in the hat. Nice. So technically, if you comment on one video, you share it online, you get a couple of entries. And and are the, is my understanding that you get to choose from any of the bikes that you've any shown? Of the bikes. Wow, you got to so be kidding I, me! I, was it seven or nine? It's a lot. Done? It's a lot of e-bike. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, uh, I know my audio was a little jacked up. Uh, for some reason, after the rainstorm, I was having problems with both my screen having uh, water on it and my audio. So um, I don't know if you heard it, but Jim is giving away a free electric bike. So just go to Fun with Jim. You're going in there and, and make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment. I think you leave a comment in pretty much any one of his videos and you'll be entered as many times as you leave comments. And whoever wins that e-bike can actually pick whichever e-bike uh, you want from any of his videos. So if you go in and look at all of his e-bikes, I have one that's my favorite. Now that I have 100 subscribers, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving this skateboard away. Um, I found that out in the ocean and I'm going to show you guys that right after this. So you guys will see where I actually found it. Okay guys, this is kind of an interesting little uh, find. Um, did not hit this with my detector. Um, I'm gonna guess it probably will give us some sort of a signal, but it uh, it looks like it's a skateboard um, that either floated in or 
was discarded on the beach. And um, you can see the base plates are still on it. It actually looks like it's still got some of its graphics. So let's, let's go up and give that a look-see a little closer and see what, uh, what we're looking at. Yeah, it looks as though the trucks have actually rotted off of it. But again, getting plenty of signal. That kind of an interesting, an interesting uh, graphic on it. Tell you what, that may, that may end up in the garden. Kind of interesting. Got a little skull with some horns on it and a, and a little bit of, uh, of other design. So, yeah, I think we'll throw that up on the beach and if it's still here, I'll grab it. Just go into any of my videos, hit the comment, and just say stainless steel ring or skateboard. And uh, you'll be eligible to win either of them. A lot of people have been putting comments on the stainless steel ring. I'll be giving that away on the 17th of May. I think my next giveaway is gonna be this bag of sea glass I found. And uh, it's got some pretty cool colors in there. Um, I don't know exactly how many pieces. There's also a piece of smoky quartz. Um, all that was found uh, in one of my videos. But I'm thinking I'll make that a, a June giveaway. So if you're interested in sea glass, go ahead and comment any of my videos and write sea glass and you'll be entered into that contest. And then coming up, I think I'm gonna base it on subscribers again. I'm thinking 250 subscribers. We're already up about half that way. I think we're at 120 or 125 uh, if I check this morning. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway for one of my cool shirts. And uh, it has the same logo on the back. Um, and uh, I'll send out whatever size you want, anything from small all the way to triple XL. And um, I'll do that after I get 250 subscribers. And uh, if you guys are interested in that, you can also put in skull shirt or t-shirt or pirate shirt or pirate mic shirt. So it's kind of cool too. It's got a QR code that you can actually scan. So if your friends are desperate to find my channel, that's how they can do it. Thanks. All right, got a high tone here. I think it's out. I'm thinking more likely a dime. It's down in the 70s now. And it is another dime. I'm telling you, I think we may have gotten over a dollar. So Jim just found this. It's funny. Brad and I were sitting talking about 15 minutes ago saying, watch, Jim will find a ring before he makes it to the parking lot. And <laughs> sure enough, we're walking it's three a nice looking three ring. astride. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, not real, it I, really I think it's going to turn out to be real. I got a feeling. Uh, Jim thinks it's junk. Brad's on the fence. I think it's going to be real. But the bottom line is it is definitely a ring. And uh, and it is before he got to the parking lot. So there you go. You got to show up where the parking lot is. <laughs> so here's Jim. Right over there is where we were talking. And here's the parking lot. So... There you go, before you made it to the parking lot. Right next to it. 31s are usually pool tabs, right? Got it. Clack, come I on. I don't hear it clacking. Though. Come on, give me a clack, give me a clack. It's a ring. No. It's another ring. No. It is. You that one is definitely like a plated ring. Yeah. Unbelievable. Three rings. <laughs> I don't like it. I think this I is... Go over the whole area three Here, times. you want me to move? No, no, I'm kidding. Okay, see if um, there's a third? <laughs> yeah. Give it, let's see. Come on, Brad. No. Well, here's the wrap-up. And uh, you'll see that I've got uh, four ten stakes, one of which was found uh, underneath the uh, lifeguard station as we were taking cover from the rainstorm. I did get a spoon, never did get breakfast. Uh, I did get uh, some aluminum chunks, a lot of bobby pins, fish hook. The deadlier things I found are these uh, fishing line and, uh, and rubber balloons. Those uh, are great uh, for uh, killing birds and other wildlife. So if you want to not kill birds and wildlife, try to take that stuff with you when you go. Um, I got all these bottle caps, some of which were just picked up on the surface again. Uh, the plastic bottle caps seem to be everywhere. I did get five quarters, five dimes, one nickel, and five pennies. So I did get the cycle once, 
Uh, the one find of the day is this small silver toe ring. It's got little stars on it. I don't know if you can even see that. And then uh, this is a little bit of a heart stopper, but I am pretty certain. I will test it, but I'm. it's just too light. I believe it's just a, probably a gold-plated, uh, like Jim was saying, maybe aluminum or something like that. It's not very heavy at all. Um, so I think that's a... That is just that fake, um, as uh, my friends say, it's real, but it's not real gold. Anyway, that's what I got. Hey friends, Mike here, also known as Pirate Mike. Just want to say thank you so much for checking out my video. And again, uh, I know that the uh, video quality and the editing quality is a little uh, a little dicey to start with, but I'm just learning what I'm doing. Hoping that'll greatly improve over time. Also hoping that the uh, targets I find will greatly improve. Um, and again, I really appreciate it. And if you didn't mind subscribing, it would really make me happy as I am a brand new YouTuber. Thank you.